हेलो स्टूडेंट दिस इज आवर लेक्चर नंबर वन यूनिट नंबर थ्री सॉलिड स्टेट फिजिक्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इवॉल्स कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड द डेरिवेशन ऑफ ब्रैग्स लॉ बाय यूजिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रेसिप्रोकल लैटिस सो दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इवॉल्स कंस्ट्रक्शन वॉज गिवन बाय जर्मन साइंटिस्ट पी पी इवॉल्ड और कंसिडर द रेसिप्रोकल लैटिस स्पेस इन विच इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ नंबर ऑफ रेसिप्रोकल लैटिस पॉइंट्स ओके Now suppose the X-rays are incident on a particular lattice point. Suppose this lattice point is a point we can call as a A lattice point, and X-rays are incident on this A lattice point. Okay, and suppose these X-rays are make me making angle theta, okay, with reference to this parallel plane. So this is suppose this is the direction. okay this green arrow is showing the direction of incident x ray it is also known as a wave vector okay and suppose it is having length 1 by lambda because we know that the wave vector k is inversely proportional to the wave length so we are supposing that the wave vector this a if this point is o o is a reference origin and the length of this ao vector that is wave vector is nothing but 1 by lambda okay if we consider this consider this vector length ao 1 by lambda as a radius and if we draw a circle okay with radius ao okay and this circle in three dimensional it is called evolved sphere okay and this circle is touching this point okay this is a reciprocal lattice point if suppose this circle is touching at a point b okay uh, which which is having coordinate h dash k dash and l dash so this ab is also the radius of this circle and we know that the radius of the circle is 1 by lambda to so length of ab will also be 1 by lambda okay so if we see this circle all in 3d evolved sphere we can see there are two complete reciprocal lattice point on the circumference of this circle one is reference origin o and one is a reciprocal lattice point b if we connect these two reciprocal lattice points o and b okay by this arrow so direction is from the origin o is reference origin and and it is also a reciprocal lattice point b is also a reciprocal lattice point if we connect these two points okay by a vector pointing from o to b this vector is nothing but the reciprocal lattice vector reciprocal lattice vector is nothing but the vector connecting by two reciprocal lattice points so g is the reciprocal lattice vector now evolves construction okay we will derive bracks condition in terms of reciprocal lattice point okay lattice vector so we will derive bracks condition it means vector form of bracks law vector form of bracks law from evolves construction so using evolves construction we will derive vector form of bracks law and that is also known as bracks condition in terms of reciprocal lattice vector so from evolve construction we have seen this this is the evolved sphere okay this is the direction of incident x ray this is the direction of diffracted x ray okay so direction means wave vector so wave vector we can represent by k vector and this o is reciprocal lattice point that is reference origin and b is also reciprocal lattice point the line joining o and b that is called reciprocal lattice vector that is g okay so the direction of ao is in the in this direction a direction of ob in this direction in opposite direction direction of ab is in the opposite side so by triangle law of vector addition ao direction of ao is this side ao and direction of ob is this one ob ao plus ob is equal to ab because the direction of ab is opposite side by triangle law of vector addition ao plus ob is equal to ab and we know that ao is the direction of incident x ray that can be represent in the form of wave vector k as well as ab is the direction of diffracted x ray so we can represent it by k vector 
सो के वेक्टर प्लस के वेक्टर एंड ए बी इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ रेसिपिकल लैटिस वेक्टर दैट इज जी वेक्टर तो के वेक्टर ओके ओ बी सॉरी ओ बी इज जी वेक्टर ओ ए ओ मीन्स के वेक्टर प्लस ओ बी मीन्स जी वेक्टर रेसिपिकल लैटिस वैक्टर इज इक्वल टू दिस इज के वैक्टर नाउ स्क्वेरिंग ऑन बोथ साइड If we square on both side this one, okay. So a plus b square whole square a square plus twice a b plus g square b square. So k vector square plus twice into k g plus g vector square is equal to k vector square. K vector square k vector square can be cancelled out. So it will be two into k g plus g vector square equal to zero. 2 into k vector into g vector plus g vector square equal to zero, and in scalar form we can write as g square plus 2 kg equal kg square g square g square plus 2 kg equal to zero. So this is nothing but the Bragg's law in vector form. This is also called Bragg's condition in terms of reciprocal lattice vector. We have derived from the Evolves construction or evolves method. Thank you.